you to listen. I want you to listen. So now look. Give me Matthew chapter 24. Yeah. Christ is a title. You understand me, Pedro? Christ itself is a title. Yes, 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 exactly. I know. Yeah. Now watch this. Yes, so when you come into the church, so you got to come back. Start growing your beard. Come on. You got to get back in the fight. It's time to get back in the fight. You need to be in black pants and black boots with a purple shirt right now. Why? Because we're teaching our people. Now look, you see these different images? Do me a favor, miss. Stand back a little bit, okay? Now watch this. Now look, Matthew 24, verse 5 is going to explain this. Watch this. Listen to this. Read this. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 5. For many shall come in my name. Many shall come in my name, the Bible says. Saying, I am Christ. Saying, I am Christ. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. This is the many that came in his name. Look at this. Look at this. Read it again. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. The Bible says, shall deceive how many? Many shall deceive many. A lot of our people think Jesus Christ is Caucasian. That's a lot of white man toy. That's a lot of white man toy. Now I'm gonna show you something. Give me Colossians 3:22. Give me Colossians 3:22. Now the white man also taught this. Give me this. Give me this. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 22. Read this. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 22. Servants obey. In all things, your master. The, the white man used the Bible and read the scripture. And he said that meant that we must listen to him. Read it again. Servants, obey in all things, your master, according to the flesh. The Bible says servants, obey in all things, your masters, according to the flesh. Is that talking about that black slaves? We're supposed to listen to the white man? Is that what that meant? No. But the white man used it to manipulate us. That's why in slavery, what did the white man make sure? Make sure the slaves cannot read or write. You understand that? Now, what does this actually mean? Read it again. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. Why does it say servants obey in all things your masters? Why? Because remember, there was a law. Give me Leviticus chapter 26. Leviticus 26, I think is what, 41? 26, Leviticus 26 and verse 41, I believe. 25, 41. Now, why did the white man quote that? He used that verse to manipulate the minds of the slaves. But what does it actually mean? What does it actually mean? Read it again for him. Hold the biggest twist. Read Colossians 3, 22. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. The white man said that meant that we were supposed to obey anything he told us. Is that what that scripture means? You think that's what it meant? No, I'm asking him though. Read it again for him. I want you, I want you to dissect it. Do you really think that Colossians 3, when it was written thousands of years ago, was talking about obey the white man in sleep? Of, exactly, of course it don't mean that. Exactly, read it for him. Servants, servants, obey in all things your master according to the flesh. The white man used that destroyed us to make sure we can't read and he used that to say you have to obey everything that I tell you wow. right yeah forget about him just ignore him just ignore him what I want you to do get back in the fight that's what you gotta worry you gotta worry about getting back in the fight now watch read this watch this listen to this Colossians chapter 3 verse 22 servants obeying all things your masters, according to the flesh, not with eye service, as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. So now, what does it actually mean? We're going to go to Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 41. Leviticus 25, and let's start at verse, yeah, 39, go ahead. The book of Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 39. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxed poor. Notice it says, and if thy brother, thy brother is talking about another black man. 
kinsman. This is the law. It says, and if thy brother read, and if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxed poor, and be sold unto thee, and be sold unto thee, read, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. Don't treat him like a slave. But how are you to treat him, read? But as a hired servant. As a hired servant. What is this servant going to do? This servant is going to live in your house. This servant does not have the financial means to take care of his family. But what he does is he sells himself to your family and you take care of him and his family. This still happens in other countries. You ever seen the Prince of Bel-Air? Remember they had a butler? What was his name? Jeffrey? Let's concentrate on acting cool. Don't talk to me about cool, Master William. Master William? Hello, Master William. You're back early. I knew that's why they didn't call. Jeffrey, I told you, no calls. Master Carlton, I'm... Damn you and your excuses. Vivian, I'm sorry. It's just that it's been so peaceful here since Will's been in Philly. And boarding school's not so bad, is it, Jeffrey? Jeffrey went to boarding school. Tell her, Jeffrey. Madam, I went to boarding school. <laughs> and then I went to therapy. <laughs> Who asked you? Get my lunch. Jeffrey lived in that house. You understand? He lived in that. He lived with the Bel Air family. He lived with them. So now, what I'm showing you is this still occurs today. In certain countries, people will live with a family and you will take care of that family. They'll fold your clothes. They'll clean. They'll take care of your children. They'll clean your house. That's the law on servitude. Right. But what the white man did was he manipulated the scripture. What's going on, brother? He manipulated the scripture and said that scripture means you are my slave. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. But that's not what it's talking about. What's your question? Wait, 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 wait. Before we go to the Moors, do you understand what we just read? Read it again for him. Verse 40. Verse 40. But as a higher servant and as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee unto the year of Jubilee. Go back to Colossians 3, verse 22. I'm, no, this is the thing. I'm reading the scripture so you can understand. That's what you got to understand. We're not just going to read it to you. We want you to understand this. Read Colossians 3.22. Colossians chapter 3 verse 22. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. What's that talking about? Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. What's that talking about? No, see, you don't get it. I knew you didn't get it. I knew you didn't get it. Nope, it's not talking about that. Read it again. Read it again, Colossians 3.22. See, pastors don't do what we're doing. Pastors just read scriptures, and this is why the congregation don't know scripture one. Right. You got to read and understand. Right. So I'm reading this so you can understand. But that's what you gave. That's not the answer. Read it again for him. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. Your master was that brother that purchased your family. You as the servant lived with the family. I use an example of today in other countries, some families are too poor to take care of themselves. Indonesia, Haiti, Guyana, where, you understand? Third world countries. What they will do is live with another family that has money and that family will take care of them. The Bible called that, this was a servant and that brother was your master. And you would live with them for a certain amount of time. 
in this context, this brother, us, we were masters, and the servants was our brothers. This, I'm reading Colossians 3. This is during the time of Rome. So now, watch this. Go to Leviticus 25. That's why I went to the law. Paul was quoting the law of Leviticus. During the time of Moses, this is what Moses said. Read. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 39. And if thy brother... If thy brother, the, your brother was, look, any of these Israelites. So if your brother, let's say this Judah. If your brother Levi, if your brother Simeon is talking about the Israelites. This has nothing to do with white people. It has nothing to do with white people. Come on. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxed poor and be sold unto thee. Be waxed poor, meaning he cannot take care of himself. And he be sold unto thee. Sold unto you to do what? What is he going to do for you? No. Nope. No. No. What does it mean sold unto you? A bond for man and bond women. Huh? He sold unto you to do what though? That's my question. What is he going to do for you? You have money. I don't have money. So I, I go under the law of servitude as a hired servant i'm your hired servant what am i supposed to do for your family my family like how what give me examples what will my family do work work around the house work in the field and in exchange you will take care of my family read it again that's why i'm not leaving this verse until you understand churches don't do what i'm doing right they don't do what we're doing. Right. You got to understand the scripture. You know why? Because people manipulate scriptures. That's right. Read this Get again. Out. And if thy brother that dwell by thee be waxed poor. Guess what? This brother, you, you can have your wife and your children. And you're poor. Read. And be sold unto thee. Thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. Watch this. Read on. But as a hired servant. But your brother that sold unto you, you are to treat him like a hired servant. Read. As a hired servant, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee unto the year of Jubilee. So now, as a hired servant, the Bible says, now you know what, I want you to read one more part. I want you to jump down to verse 43. Listen to this. Verse 43. Thou shalt not rule over him with rigor, but shall fear thy God. It says don't rule over him with rigor, meaning harshly, hard. Why does it say that? Because the Israelites, we were ruling over the other races of people harshly, hard, with rigor. But the Bible says your black brothers, Latino brothers, don't rule over them. As a hired servant, don't rule over them with rigor. You understand? So your brothers, be merciful. The other races, the Bible said, be harsh. Rule over them with rigor. You understand? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is